Dragons Natural, 647. It's 104.3. Mike, Beth, this is Valentine in the morning. I got a text from my mom, and she wrote, thank you, smiley face with a shimmer. And I'm like, what is she talking about? I heard you speak. Do you think that's what it was? Yeah, maybe. Because she listens to the iHeart Radio in Connecticut, that's where not my mom is. Um, yeah, that would be nice if that's what it was, but I think... I think she's responding to me saying I'll get her groceries delivered today. Oh. <laughs> you know, I think that's what it was. Because uh, I said that to her yesterday, uh, but moms, get one of these friends that they respond to your text 12 hours later, 24 hours later, but they respond like it's still in time with the conversation. So you're mm -hmm. going, what are you talking about? They're answering a question from your text message 24 hours prior, and you're supposed to act like it makes sense, but you sent that question or that query, so to speak, 24 hours prior, you know? I'm guilty of doing that. Like, I, you know, I will be putting my son down for a nap, and I'll see a text come through, so I won't respond to it then, and then I'll forget about it, and I'll respond to it 12 hours later, whatever. But whenever I do, I will always include a, hey, so sorry it took me so long to respond to it. Sure. You don't just respond. You have to explain right, that yes. long pause. Yeah, you've got to put something in there that explains what's going on, because in our fast-paced lives, we move on from some of these conversations, and you might even forget what it was, and you get to go back, and you got to look through your text. Oh, they responded to this, responded to that. And there's nothing wrong with my mom saying thank you with a shamrock and a smiley face and a heart or whatever she wrote there at any point. Maybe she's just thanking me for being me. Mom, you're welcome. Good be. Good be. <laughs> Maybe it's for the russet potatoes that she wanted. Or the, um, I should read you her shopping list. I know that's incredibly boring, but it's pretty funny to see what an 80-year-old shopping list is. I mean, it's just I nice. want to hear it. Well, she delineates it down to like three bananas, not more than three bananas, because I'm not going to eat four, just three bananas. Let's see what else you wrote on here. This is Are there uh, Werther's Originals on there? I've never known an old lady that doesn't have Werther's Originals. <laughs> Here's what she got. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Six bananas, one bag of green grapes. They must be seedless. Wow. Just imagine. <laughs> At a point like this, when somebody's willing to deliver groceries here, come on. Two bags of Caesar salad mixed from the deli. She'd like half a pound of roast beef. Oh, look at her. Then she wants two low-calorie breads. She's going to kill me for this. Oh, here's the old lady thing. One small jar of marmalade. Who's <laughs> 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 getting marmalade nowadays? Uh, oh, she wants two cans of uh, Campbell's pork and beans. Look at you, Mom. Look at the light. Mm -hmm. uh, she has some bagels and cream cheese and stuff. Good for her. Oh, you're not going to like this guy. Two pork chops, two small uh -huh. steaks, three russet potatoes, two bags of frozen green beans, two cans of carrots, a five-pound bag of self-raising flour, then a tub of light coolant. Two pork chops and two steaks. Is she having a uh, visitor that you're unaware of joining her for these meals? Sounds like dinner for two. No, she's not. Hmm. She's probably going to freeze one and have it in the near term or the future, you know? <laughs> she talks a lot about that Father Bob. She's not doing anything with a Catholic priest. She's uh, not. She's uh, her Father Bob or beef in any way. She's a Bob with beef, but beef with a Bob. <laughs> I still haven't heard that story. You're not going to hear it. It's worse than the Nook story. You're not going to hear it. It's not going to no. All right, 6.51, it's Valentine in the morning. This is 104.3 MyFM. Here's what's coming up in Hollywood headlines. Oprah says she is still trying to process what can be heard in this moment. And I'll say what she said about George Floyd right after traffic. Enjoy free CD shipping on all furniture directly to your front door. Only at Living Spaces. Three things you need to know right now. The National Guard has been deployed to several cities in Southern California to assist local police departments. The protest emerged as a call for justice following the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. And while large peaceful demonstrations have been seen across the country, separate groups have responded violently through looting and destruction of property. The cities of Long Beach, Los Angeles, and Santa Monica have requested the help of National Guard troops and received approval from Governor Newsom. The last time the National Guard patrolled the streets of L.A. was during the riots in 1992. I was trying to figure that out when the last time we've seen all these Humvees and these, you know, big National Guard trucks and stuff on our streets. All California state buildings with offices in downtown city areas have been ordered to close today. It's a sweeping mandate that covers everything from DMV offices to public health care facilities. The move comes after armed National Guard soldiers were called into line the steps of City Hall in downtown Los Angeles. The Dodgers and Angels are preparing as if there will be professional baseball played this summer. 
is a spot of good news. We can use this. Both teams have opened their stadiums and spring training facilities for organized workouts while adhering to safety guidelines to avoid the spread of the coronavirus. If owners and players can reach an agreement, spring training is expected to last about three weeks. The season could start in early July. I guess one of the benefits, you know, once we do start up baseball, um, you know how the pitcher would always cover his face with a glove when he's trying to talk to his catcher or something? If he's wearing a mask, he's not going to have to worry about that anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, good call. I don't know if that's a good call. I don't know if he's going to be wearing a mask or not when they're out there in the field. I have no idea if they wear a mask. But he wouldn't have to cover his face with a glove when he's whispering whatever he's whispering to the catcher. Mm-hmm. What are yeah, they whispering? Yeah. I'd like to hear that sometimes. You know? I, I still don't think they should get that close, though. Like, if they're for a mound visit, I still think they should keep six, six feet right? apart. Yeah, I guess, but I think everyone's going to hear him at that point, then. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Lots of questions. What are the answers? What are the answers? I'm mad I've already asked that question. This has become a really dumb conversation. <laughs> this time around, traffic is sponsored by Duck Duck Go Privacy. Heavy delays through South LA. You're on breaks at Century. Pretty solid over towards the 10 freeway. 10 westbound is pretty tough through downtown as well from the 5 over towards the 110. And just minor delays as you get through the mid stage stretch from about La Cienega over to, uh, from La Brea rather, over towards La Cienega. And then it's better before you get to the 405. Westbound side is the 105 busy at Linwood from the 710 over towards Central, and then it gets better before you reach the 110 uh, freeway. And southbound side of the 405, you're seeing the brake lights this morning, it's the off of the 118. That's going to stay busy out towards Small Holland, and then it's not too bad to get through this public path. Fed up with companies selling your data, DuckDuckGo is on it. They help millions of people like you take back their privacy online. With one download, you can search and browse privately, avoiding trackers all for free. DuckDuckGo, privacy simplified. After Cafe, I'm Tony Jordan with Valentine in the Morning on 1043, My I Found. Valentine in the Morning. Hollywood Headlines. Prince William and Kate Middleton are taking legal action against a magazine called Tatler over what they are calling a cruel, sexist, and woman-shaming cover story about Kate. And they want to remove from the internet and Kensington Palace, Kensington Palace has already blasted it for what they are calling inaccuracies and false representations. And like so many people, Oprah was using social media to try to, what she said, process what can be said or heard in this moment. Oprah said, while pouring coffee, lacing my shoes, and taking a breath, I think George doesn't get to do this. His family and friends say he was a gentle giant. His death has now shown us that he had a giant soul. If the largeness of the soul is determined by its sphere of influence, George Floyd is a mighty soul. I'm Jill here, Hollywood Headlines. All right, thank you, Jill. It is 6.55. It's 104.3 My Fan. This is Valentine the Morning. Try to figure out, should we do the Battle of the Sexes today? Do you guys want us to play that game on a day like this? Is it?